Hi guys, welcome back, thanks for joining us again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on the Avro Cart. The Avro Cart is what's known as a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, also for short it's called a VTOL aircraft. And the most common terrestrial example of this that we have now is a, a helicopter. Um, the original designer of the Avro car is a gentleman called John Frost. The aircraft in industry believed that future wars were going to be nuclear, which would destroy the air bases that they were currently using, hence why they felt a need for these VTOL aircraft to be developed. They saw this as the best long-term solution uh, because they thought that aircrafts were going to have to start taking off from various places, for example, random roads, or there would be a very limited amount of air bases that could be used. Um, possibly even things like fields, farmers land, wasteland. So it was important to have a solution and the VTOL aircraft was seen as the best one. The Avro car begun development in 1952, which is just five years after the Roswell incident, which was in 1947. Could this mean that the Avro car has been inspired by something that was a part of that crash? Some sort of recovered alien tech? Um, is there the possibility that this Avro car was an attempt to replicate some technology that people just didn't understand? Is there the possibility that the Avro car was an attempt at re engineering? something that was amongst that crash in 1947. So as you can see in the video, the Avro car was a disc shaped object which moves relatively quickly and relatively stable across the ground as it goes. Um, now, if you cast your mind back to sort of 1959, 1960, maybe slightly earlier when they were developing this, there weren't an awful lot of aircraft in the sky, not like now, where you can look up at anything and, and it can be classed as a UFO if you can't name exactly what it is. So if a member of the public were to look up and see one of these flying, you would be forgiven for thinking that it was an extraterrestrial vehicle. Now this got me thinking, is there a possibility that the US Air Force or the US government created this because there was something going on that they were aware of was there something extraterrestrial happening at the time and they were looking for an excuse and a way to excuse it away what's not exactly clear from these videos is how high they actually got the avro car to fly during testing so what we're looking at here is a schematic of the Avro car. And what we can see from this is that it was powered by three conventional engines which powered the centre turbine, which is where it got its downward thrust from. What we can also see is what appears to be two cockpits with no real explanation for what, why there was two. Um, I don't know, maybe it was balance or something. Now, in order to address the fact that it wasn't particularly stable, towards the end of the project, uh, the designer offered up some wings which could be attached to the Avro car to try and help it. Um, however, this was rejected by the government and the, the people who were funding it. Now this could suggest that the US Air Force was simply looking for the craft to be a disc shape. Um, which would support the theory that they were just trying to recreate something that they knew already existed. Or perhaps they were trying to recreate an extraterrestrial vehicle which had been previously discovered at a crash site. Now personally I think that the reason that this was developed was because the government, US government or the US Air Force were trying to recreate something that they'd found or something that they knew existed in some way. However, that is just my personal feeling. Um, as always, it is completely up to every individual to make their own mind up about what this was used for, whether they're still trying to develop it or, or whether it's completely been shut down. Uh, as always, the links for all everything that we've shown and everything that we've used will be down below. So have a look yourselves, make your own decision, leave some comments.
as always guys thanks for joining us again uh, if you'd like to contact us there we have twitter we've got our gmail account or leave a comment here we'll get back to you don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any of our videos see you next time